happy defender of the Fatherland Day. Lieutenant General Mykola Olshchuk, commander of the Ukrainian Air Force, has just announced that the Ukrainian Air Force has shot down a Bureau of A-50 early warning and control aircraft, with the designation by and very rare of the occupiers in the Sea of Azov on the evening of February 23. This information was later confirmed by the Ukrainian military intelligence agency that the aircraft was shot down in a joint operation with the Ukrainian Air Force. RIA Novosti, Russia's state news agency, also reported the following day that an unidentified plane crashed in the Kainskoy district of Krasnodar Krai, 200 kilometers, 124 miles, from the Ukrainian front line. Krasnodar's emergency response agency later said a plane crashed near the village of Trutovaya Armenia, Kamskoy district, and the fire was later extinguished. Krasnodar's emergency response service did not provide further details about the model or number of the crashed plane. Videos circulating on social networks show the moment the plane appeared to be shot down in the air, as well as the huge, flames and thick black smoke that appeared to rise after the crash. Year of A50U costs about $350 million, is the latest modernized version of Bureau of A50 Airborne Early Warning and Control, UNC, aircraft with radar VGAM designed by NIP, Moscow and by NPO VGA production, is capable of simultaneously tracking up to 150 targets within a range of 230 kilometers, with large targets, such as, surface ships, able to be tracked at a distance of 400 kilometers. However, it appears to have been shot down by the S-200 Long Range Air Defense Missile Complex, a complex developed in the 1960s. These Bureau of A-50 Airborne Early Warning and Control Aircraft are strategic assets, highly valuable and extremely limited in number. According to the British Ministry of Defense, the occupiers can there are six Bureau of A-50s in operation. It provided the occupiers with extremely important functions during the invasion of Ukraine such as detection of air defense systems, guided missiles of the defenders of Ukraine and coordination of targeting for fighter aircraft of the occupiers. Previously, on January 14, also over the Sea of Azov, the Ukrainian Air Force also shot down an A-50 aircraft of the occupiers. A Neil-22 Airborne Control Center was also reported to have been damaged beyond repair in the same strike operation. In addition, on February 17, Ukraine reportedly shot down a Su-35 fighter aircraft of the occupiers, on February 18 shot down a Su-34 fighter jets and on February 19 shot down two Su-34 fighter jets and a Su-35S fighter aircraft and on February 21, continued to shoot down a Su-34 fighter jet of the occupiers. Well, what can I say? Just one word, great. Вертолет упал. А, самолет, да? Самолет. Упал, все горит. Он половину, по А он люди там ходят, Санек. Спрашивают, живой кто? Вон, гля. Гля, гля, он туда пошли. Санек!